Okay, so Carnival Youth Programs, as you all may know, we are America's Cruise Line, we are the Family Cruise Line, and we are definitely open. Um, we are definitely known for our youth programs and making sure that our cruises are not just fun, but fun for all. So we want to make sure that the kiddos are taken care of so that you can get your adulting fun on. So let's talk a little bit about our kids program. I'm going to kick it off with Camp Ocean. Camp Ocean um, comes in different varieties based on ages. This is a great, beautiful photo of our Camp Ocean registration. As you can see, we've got it nice and organized for you to check in your child and drop them off. And we've got all sorts of activities planned out on board the ship for the children. Now, all of our activities are age appropriate. And one of the questions that we get a lot is that, you know, if you're, if, if one child is in Camp Ocean age and another one is in Circle C or different, or if they're a stingray or a shark, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna share all of that with you in a moment. A lot of times we'll get the question is, can we um, move a child into one program versus the other if their birthdays are close? And the answer to that is no. So once, um, so the kids have to go to whichever program is appropriate to their age group, and that is to conserve the interest of all of the children participating so that all the activities are age appropriate. So let's kick it off, like I said, with Camp Ocean and, our penguins, which our penguins are our children on board from ages two and five. And just a couple things for you to know about our Camp Ocean Penguins program. These are our youngest campers on board this ship. These would be children within the age of two and five. And we've got all sorts of great adventures and fun planned for them daily for them to explore. We've got activities on board for them, such as arts and craft, sing-alongs, dancing, and just so much more for the little ones to enjoy. Now, all of the children must be registered by a parent or guardian prior to participating in our youth programs. Just a little fun fact for you, if you are a pre-planner, you don't have to wait to get on board to register your child um, under your um, onboard ship manager when you're registering for your excursions, your spas, your dinner reservations at specialty dining. You can also register your children for the kids program so that once you get on board, all of that is already done and you can just kick off your vacation. Now, the age, as I was talking about earlier, it, it was determined, it's determined by your child's birth date. So that's the simple and pretty standard. Um, now, parent or guardians can authorize for other guests on board traveling with them over the age of 18 to be able to register and you know, drop off and pick up a child, but only those approved by the parent or guardian will be able to do so. So if you're traveling with other family members, grandparents, aunts, or uncles, and you want them to have access to be able to drop or pick up um, your child or vice versa, you pick up their child, this would be half, this will need to be granted by the parent or guardian. I know for myself, anytime I've traveled with my brother, he's always happy to pass the buck over and um, register me so that I can pick up my nephews for him. Um, and now that I have a two-year-old, next time we travel together, I'm going to be happy to pass that back the buck right back over to him so he can pick up my daughter. So just make sure you, ch you um, check those boxes off and click those authorizations so that your family can help you with that. Now, on board the ship, we do wanna make sure that we are in close contact with those parents for our penguins ages two to five. And we do have complimentary um, ship cell phones. Now these aren't standard cell phones, they're not for you to call out anywhere. It's really just for you to be in contact with our camp counselors over at Camp Ocean. These are available for parents or guardians on a case by case basis. So if it's needed for you know younger children, uh, we, we can um, have those out to you. Now, just just know that these are limited, so at times they, they may um, be available and at times they may not. And it the range does not extend beyond the ship. So just know that because we do have youth program activities sometime that, sometimes that we will organize while the ship is shoreside. So some parents like to put the kids in the kids program for an hour or so, go and maybe do some shopping and come back 
um, and register the kids out and then have a fun day offshore with them. Just know if you're doing anything like that, that shipboard cell phone will not work once you are uh, not within the ship. Um, so just, just to fill you in on that. Now, big question that we get a lot is what about potty training? Do children have to be potty trained to partake in Camp Ocean? And the answer to that is no. Children do not have to be potty trained in order to partake in Camp Ocean um, or our night owl services, which I'll share a little bit more about night owls in just a moment. But if you are doing that, parents must provide the youth staff um, with diapers and napkins and wipes and all of that fun stuff. And of course, sign off if you're fine with that. Or we can, uh, I know uh, my sister-in-law would just have them give her a call and and she would go in and, and change my nephew's diaper. So there's, there's an option for every um, mommy or daddy or aunt or uncle's desire uh, for their own child. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so night owls. Um, night owls is um, an is a feature or and I guess a benefit rather that we offer, um, which is each evening from the hours of 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. So if you know that you want to um, have a long night uh, and you want your child to be um, watched over by our camp counselors over at Camp Ocean, we do have this as an opportunity for you. Now there is a fee, although Camp Ocean during the daytime is complimentary when you participate in the night owl portion from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m., there will be a fee for that. Generally, it's gonna be a movie night with games, toys, snacks, and so forth for the kids. I guess the best way to put it is a, it's, it's like a, a cruise semi sleepover <laughs> because um, you're picking them up at midnight and then taking them back to your cabin. Uh, just know that it's um, $8 um, per hour, per child. This can be charged uh, to your sale and sign card. Uh, it's very simple. And then we'll have a great fun with the kids at night. We'll do our owl jams. And on select evenings of cruise elegant parties and so forth, we'll also have specialty um, events for the kids at the night owls. Now, um, for those parties, then it's generally $18 um, per party for your child to participate in. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, some of the activities that we have for our penguins, um, ages two to five. Now, just know that I'm gonna go over some activities for you, but activities, they, they vary depending on the ship and the cruise itinerary, the length of the cruise. So some of these may be on board your ships, all of them may be, and possibly not all of them, depending on the length of your cruise. If you're doing a short three-day getaway, you're not going to get to enjoy as much as if you're doing a, a seven or eight-day sailing. Just keep that in mind. So we've got all kinds of fun activities. Um, we've got balloons. We've got parachute fun. All kinds of fun um, games with you know ball games and so forth. Arts and crafts. A lot of um, do-it-yourself creatives and uh, messy mania. I know that was one of my nephew's favorites. And, and I mean, I had I've not met a child that doesn't love to play with Play-Doh. So all kinds of fun things. And what's really cute about the arts and crafts is that when you pick up your child, uh, then you'll, you'll have that as a memory for them to take with them. We've also got, of course, books, toys, board games, um, kids style bingo, and all kinds of music activities for them. We've got movies for them as well. We've got a science and discovery section, which is also a do-it-yourself project. Make sure to um, check out your fun times for more information about our science and discovery. A lot of times um, we'll have family hour where you can participate and go with your child to do some of these arts and crafts um, and not necessarily just drop them off, but you can be partake in it. And you can, there's family free play time as well and all kinds of great activities like that for you to enjoy on board. So there's themed activities like face painting, um, you know, dinosaur stomp, monster mania, and our penguin palooza. So our royal gala, and of course our under the sea uh, party. So make sure when you're on board, check this out with your child so that your little penguin can have a great cruise. And I promise you, it's not gonna feel like school. I can tell you from experience with just the little ones in my family, 
They are boarding a ship and they cannot wait to go to camp. As a matter of fact, when we make them have dinner with us in the dining room, they're usually pretty upset and they much rather prefer to go to the pizza party over at Camp Ocean. So just keep that in mind. Um, so our family programming, we also have a lot of uh, activities on board within our youth programs, as I mentioned, for you to participate with your child. And as well, activities may vary depending on your cruise or itinerary. We've got all kinds of really cute things like our Build-A-Bear workshop at sea. I for am super um, excited about our Build-A-Bear uh, on our carnival celebration sailings. There's gonna be a special tribute Build-A-Bear for our 50th anniversary celebration. So if you are uh, booking one of those or if you're thinking about it, uh, this is a nice additional um, memory that you can build with your children and bring it home with you. Of course, we'll have family um, art and crafts time, family bingo, family game on. Family game on is so much fun. I've actually done this with my family also. Um, and it's an opportunity for families to compete against each other. And it's just really just fun things for you to do on board the ship. The scavenger hunt, if you've ever been on board a ship, you've probably seen um, the kids running around with their parents trying to complete the scavenger hunt. It's just loads of fun and something, something different to do on board the ship. These are great activities for you to participate in on those uh, sea days uh, when you're just trying to figure out, you know, what, what to do on board during all of those hours with your children and get some family time in. So make sure to check out the family program for those days, especially. We've got our family welcome aboard party, family Zumbini. If you didn't know that we um, introduced Zumbini a couple of years ago, uh, and I can tell you having a two-year-old that Zumbini Shoreside is is not cheap. It's like 50 bucks a class. So the fact that it's complimentary on board our ships, I think is really cool. It's a it's a fun activity for you to participate with uh, your child and enjoy. We've got family dance party. And one of my favorites are green eggs and ham breakfast with the cat in a hat and his friends. A lot of times you'll catch either thing one and thing two there or the Grinch himself. So really fun activity for you to do. Just know that our green eggs and ham breakfast our character breakfast um, does have a small fee of $8 um, for adults, uh, but it's a really great experience. And I mean, seriously, I can tell you from paying top dollar for some other character breakfasts that you just can't beat that um, to get breakfast and great photos um, with the cat in the hat and all of his friends over at our Green Eggs and Ham breakfast. So make sure to check that out and check out Photo Time with Dr. Seuss. I highlighted our Sousa Palooza Parade and Story Time. This is another completely complimentary experience um, where your child will have a, an opportunity for you as well to participate in this great interactive story time with our cruise director and the cat in the hat. It's, it's when these Dr. Seuss books, they just come right to life and you and your child can participate in the story time. So I definitely welcome you to check that out when you are on board our carnival ships. Now, moving on to our next age group in Camp Ocean, these are our stingrays. Our stingrays are our little ones that are getting a little, not, not as little, but they're still little guys. They're ages six to eight, and there's definitely something for everyone, even our stingray groups, six to eight. We, we've got movie watching, science experiments, video games. I mean, these campers are for sure going to have a fantastic time on board our carnival ship. Now, the one thing that does change a little bit, um, I just wanna talk a little bit about our sign in and out policies as the age groups get um, older, we give a little bit more flexibility, but in the Stingray six to eight age group, your child definitely still must be registered by a parent or guardian, um, as well as um, the, you know, your, the, your child can only participate if they are in the proper age group. So if they're um, five years old, they're going to, they're going to be moved over back to our penguins um, group. And then your six to eight would be in the stingray category. And only a parent guardian or someone authorized by a parent guardian can sign in or out your child. So we still very much um, make sure that the security portion as far as signing in and out 100% can only be done by those people you authorize for your child. So just keep that in mind. 
um, as well. The one thing that changes from Stingray uh, and Penguins, if you notice, is we don't offer that additional cell phone um, option. You're welcome to come in and you know check in on your child as often as you like. Uh, I, you know, I know that uh, my brother being the way he is, he loves to just kind of pop in and make sure that the boys are having a good time and so forth. And then we just, you know, go on on our merry way. So just, just to keep that in mind. Now for um, Camp Ocean, we also have our next age group, which is ages 9 through 11. Now these are our sharks. And a little bit about our sharks, 9 ages to 11, is we've built all kinds of fun related to their age group again. So we've got a dance party for the kids plan. We've got all kinds of fun sports games, scavenger hunts. Um, for for our nine to 11 year olds. And this is a great opportunity for your kids to connect and make new friends and try out all kinds of activities that Camp Ocean has to offer. Now, one thing that changes with um, the registration for our um, sharks is that you do have the option of allowing your child to sign themselves in and sign themselves out of camp. Some parents are completely comfortable with this and other parents still wanna have that control. So again, that's why we have the second option where you can decide, nope, you know, little Johnny cannot sign himself out of camp. I will sign him in. And if he wants to leave, you have a time agreement to come and pick him up and you register him out. So that is completely up to your discretion and whatever your comfort level is. Uh, you know, as a parent, I think that that just depends on your own comfort level, whether or not you're okay with it. Um, but it, it is an opportunity for you to do that. And a lot of and a lot of parents do participate in it because they feel very safe on board the ship for their kids to do so. So moving on to our next youth program is our Circle C. And I can't just, I can't believe we've jumped from our little bitty penguins from ages two to our stingrays and our sharks, and we're already in our preteen Circle C club. So this is our young teens club, ages 12 to 14. And just check out this club, so much fun for these kids. It's just a great place for them to have their own space, an opportunity to meet other uh, youth on board of their same age. Now, this is the best place for your preteens ages 12 and 14, like I said, to meet new friends, play sports. We've got all kinds of the latest video games on board for them. They have an opportunity to watch movies, um, have dance parties, just have a great old time when they're on board the ship and something that's perfectly age appropriate for them. Now, you can also enjoy the Circle C Lounge um, on board the ship. A lot of times, um, if there's not an activity going on, uh, there's always a youth counselor in there, you know, watching um, over uh, the kids that are in there, but they're, they're welcome to, you know, just come in, come out. It's, it's like a space for your preteens really to just hang out and have some fun. Um, you know, there's a soda bar and uh, they'll, they'll just have a really good time. Um, having some soda, talking to their friends, playing video games, cards. You know, I know and when we've popped in and out just to check on, on our family, the kids are just, you know, hanging out and they'll introduce us to new friends. And it's just nice to see them um, socially interacting and, and having fun. And as I say that socially interacting, it's like no pun intended. After we've had all of this social distancing, I'm sure we're all so excited um, to get back to cruising and back for our kids to have the opportunity to socially interact with, with other children. So, excuse me, I'm just having to drink a little bit of water there. My voice is a bit raspy <laughs> these days. Um, so again, this is our um, youth program. Now for this youth program, ages 12 to 14, our preteen club, there is no sign in or out policy. Um, your child is welcome to come and go as they please uh, from the Circle C program and they can enjoy the activities. If they're, we're do, they're doing an activity they wanna participate in and they wanna stay and hang out, they can. They just wanna sit on the side and watch it or they just wanna, you know, check themselves out and just leave and they're welcome to do that. So just know that for our preteen club, um, there is no need for you to uh, register them in or out. I did wanna say, I forgot to mention earlier when I started the presentation, uh, our chat feature for this presentation is disabled, uh, but we do have the Q&A uh, box open uh, and I have 
uh, my amazing, I feel like behind the scene wizards, uh, Drew Santiago, my fellow BDD, as well as um, Sheila, my fellow BDD as well, uh, manning our Q&A box. So make sure to uh, pop in any questions that you may have and they will be answering those for you. Now, some of the activities that we have on, on Circle C, just to give you an idea, we've got fun things for the kids like bing bag toss, capture the flag, indoor dodgeball, um, manhunt, arts and craft. We've got all kinds of fun do-it-yourself, um, creative things, jewelry making. I know that um, uh, a lot of one of my friend's daughters just always loves to do that and she always makes a bracelet for all of us, which is really cute. Uh, so if you've got, you've got uh, jewelry makers, that's a fun activity. We've got board games on board for the kids as well. All kinds of fun activities where it's the kids versus the staff or you as a family versus the staff, carnival challenges and our digital scavenger hunts. So make sure to check out all of these great activities for your Circle C uh, age group preteens. Uh, we've also got movies. Karaoke is a big hit. The kids just love um, the opportunity to participate in karaoke. And we also have some um, themed activities, some superhero parties, pirate parties. Um, and for the younger ones, uh, I forgot to mention, well, for our kindergarten, we've got color wars and all kinds of cool activities like that going on as well. So make sure to check those out. Now, our next age group is Club 02. These are our teens. They are growing fast um, and they are, this is ages five to 17. I almost can't believe it. One of my nephews is actually in this age group already. And I remember dropping him off um, when, when Camp Ocean was Camp Carnival. That's how long ago it was. And now he's, uh, he's a Club o -er. So at Club o your kids have an opportunity to um, have a great hangout spot. It's a great spot for them to meet other teens as well. It's also great because when you're kind of trying to figure out like, where is my child? You just kind of pop over by Club O2 and more than likely you're gonna find them hanging out there uh, with the new friends that they've made on board. They have the opportunity to watch movies as well, listen to music, dance, have great karaoke parties. Um, and also we put together this event where it's kind of like they're attending a car carnival's version of a prom uh, for, for our, our evening gala nights. So that's something fun for them to do. They're already all dressed up, so why not participate and attend the Carnival's Club O2 par, um, prom? So each ship has a, a designated Club O2 leader who will be responsible and is overseeing the program and the lounge at all times so that the kids are always supervised. So although you're not signing them in and you're not signing them out because you know they're teenagers, 15 to 17, um, they're almost getting ready to graduate high school and head out to college. So you don't need to sign them out, but there will be um, a carnival uh, representative, a Club O2 leader overseeing the program and making sure that they are safe and having just good, clean fun. So with that, um, again, I'm Aliette Penton, your business development manager with Carnival Cruise Lines. Thank you for joining me for this Tune In Tuesday. I know it's a little bit shorter, uh, but I didn't want to just pop in a bunch of photos. I wanted to really just give you a deeper dive on what the programs have to offer, the age groups, um, some of the activities on board that you can participate as a family and so forth. But more, um, more than anything, lastly, I'd just love to say Thank you again for joining me and remember that we at Carnival believe that travel agents rock.